Hey everyone, so um, I just wanted to share these um, two traits that were major winners uh, for this week and I thought they were a bit more interesting compared to the other traits that I took so hopefully you guys can get some learning points from this trait. Overall, how I found the traits were because from a top-down analysis, I saw that price was actually approaching this weekly area as we can see over here. So as price approached this, um, I was looking for some kind of pullback that might happen before price actually went higher into this um, supply zone over here. So I then dropped down to the daily. Um, I noted that I was actually trading towards this zone um, on the weekly. And I was looking for price to pull back into probably this demand zone over here before actually continuing higher. Again, this is my weekly zone over here. As I saw that price was actually approaching this area um, bullish and it was actually stopping multiple times at this weekly zone as we can see the multiple rejections on the 4-hour chart. When I saw that on the lower time frames pre-London session on the 19th of May which is a Wednesday, I saw that there were multiple rejections to this area already previously as we can see um, this whole week price has actually been rejecting from this area and because it's a weekly zone it's going to take quite a bit um, before price is actually able to go further up higher as overall the trend obviously is still very much bullish so if we drop that down to the 15 minute as we approach the London session which is my usual trading time I noticed that price did another spike up but it failed to break this previous daily high so ignore this current daily candle because um, i'm doing this as a replay but if we look at the one hour and the 15 minute we can see that this was the daily high that was being that i needed to be respected for price to actually continue lower so when i looked at the 15 minute i noticed price was actually pushing higher and breaking these highs however i knew that this was a sell area for me as long as price did not break this week high um, which was also the daily high so once i noticed on the five minute that price was making multiple rejections in this area here which was also a previous five minute um, zone for me sorry not this one um, which was also a five minute previous supply area for me i knew that um, i needed to see a few more rejections um, before we got towards the london session so once I saw multiple rejections to the area, I waited for a break of this support here to confirm that this bullish trend was actually taking a pause and then once it broke, I would be waiting for the retest to continue lower and that's how I caught this um, trade short here. So if you can see price broke this structure. So I was looking for the start of the move that broke the structure. So I was waiting for price to come back into this area over here and it did just that. So on this candle here, I actually executed my sells um, with my stop loss above these highs because if price were to go up, potentially it would break the daily high and then continue even higher, which is not what I want since I'm expecting a pullback down into the daily and four hour zones that I showed earlier. So when price reached this area of liquidity, I took 50% of my trade off and then because I knew that once price reaches a liquidity area, usually it will do some kind of pullback but as long as it maintains below this um, highs over here, it should actually continue lower. So if I play the trade out, we can see after it broke the structure over here, it did some kind of consolidation, faked out and then pulled back up again, but still respected this high. So the sales were still valid and we see the price actually making another melt all the way down, all the way down towards the four hour zone that I had over at this area here if i were to go into the four hour chart to show you this area was my previous demand zone that i was expecting price to tap into before actually going higher so this was going to be the final tp area so if we look at the four hour chart we see that price actually did reach just nice into the zone before flying upwards to make higher highs so that was actually how the short trade worked out trading the daily uh, and higher time frame pullbacks for price to continue higher so if we look at the one minute on this chart how i actually managed to trade would have been to just 
trail the stock loss as price after I took my first TP at this area, once price actually broke back down below this again, usually what I do is I wait for a break of structure and then I throw my stop loss at the previous high. So again, when price broke this structure here, I'll trail it over here, break this structure, throw over here. So as we go down, that's how I actually am ending and that's how I'm actually able to maximize the win ratio on this trade. So if you make a guess, this ended up to be quite a uh, large risk reward. This is the short trade idea. So over on the long trade, again, because like what I mentioned earlier, this area here was actually the four hour zone that I was expecting price to come into, make some kind of um, higher, lower time frame, um, change in structure, retest, and then continue up. So that's exactly what it did. If we look at this area over here, let me zoom in for you guys. So as price approached this area after selling off heavily, I noticed that price started to make equal lows. So usually when price does this, I'm expecting some kind of liquidity grab over here before price actually continues on its way up. So once price had these equal lows, I wasn't going to actually buy from here until I saw some kind of liquidity grab. So thereafter, when price started to make higher lows, the entry long was executed after this candle actually flipped bullish and then with my stop loss below these areas. So again, because I have my weekly zone above, I was just aiming for this area here. But as you can see, this trade worked out really, really well and actually it is still continuing to run even higher. <laughs> so let's see, this second bullish trade now would be sitting at around one is to about almost 48 R. So yeah quite clean structure over here. Um, overall bias obviously is bullish. So when I traded the entry short, I knew that price potentially once it broke this level of consolidation, it would be able to come and clear this um, two clean candles over here before grabbing liquidity in this area and then continuing up again to continue on its overall bullish trend as we can see. Higher highs and higher lows in this area over here. So overall, these trades were actually called out inside the trading community. And uh, because we usually have uh, daily Zoom sessions where we trade together, um, during the trading sessions, I actually run through how I'm executing the trade, how I'm actually managing the trades. So from pre-analysis to managing and exiting the trade, everything has been described um, inside the QWERTY LFX um, trading community. So if you guys need information of that, it's actually available down in the description below. So hopefully this video was educational. If you guys need any help or have any questions, always feel free to drop me a DM or just key in some comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.